36 degrees and 72 degrees aren't typically portrayed as special angles in trigonometry. So it might be surprising to see that the cosine of 36 degrees minus the cosine of 72 degrees equals exactly one half. At first, we might suspect that this result is simply due to the fact that 36 is half of 72. But we can quickly see that the cosine of an angle minus the cosine of twice that angle does not always give one half. So why does it happen with 36 degrees and 72 degrees then? We could prove that the relationship is true by using trigonometric identities to evaluate cos 36 degrees minus cos 72 degrees, or to determine the exact value of each of these ratios individually. But instead, let's explore a beautifully elegant visual explanation of this seemingly unexpected result, starting with a regular pentagon. Why a pentagon? Well, notice that 36 degrees plus 72 degrees equals 108 degrees, which is the measure of each interior angle of a regular pentagon a property that can be quickly verified by noting that the sum of a pentagon's interior angles is equal to the sum of the interior angles of three triangles. We could choose any side length for our pentagon, but for simplicity, let's give each side a length of one. By symmetry, dropping a perpendicular from one of the pentagon's vertices to the opposite side splits the opposite side in half, and also splits the angle at the vertex in half, giving two 54 degree angles. If we then drop a perpendicular from an adjacent vertex to this angle bisector, we get a right triangle containing acute angles of 54 degrees and 36 degrees. The cosine of the 36 degree angle is equal to its adjacent side length divided by the hypotenuse length. Substituting one for the hypotenuse length and simplifying the right side of our equation tells us that our adjacent length is cos 36 degrees. From here, let's extend the bottom side of the pentagon to the right and drop a perpendicular to it from the rightmost vertex, thus creating another right triangle. The acute angle at the bottom of this triangle makes a straight angle with the pentagon's 108 degree interior angle and is therefore equal to 72 degrees. The cosine of this 72 degree angle is equal to its adjacent side length divided by the triangle's hypotenuse length. Once again, substituting one for the hypotenuse length and simplifying the right side of the equation gives us the adjacent side length, which in this case is cos 72 degrees. Finally, notice that our segment length of cos 36 degrees is equal to half of the pentagon's side length plus our segment length of cos 72 degrees. That is, cos 36 degrees equals one half plus cos 72 degrees, or as we wish to show, cos 36 degrees minus cos 72 degrees equals one half.